everybody, I'm Bishop Brad, and I'm hungry for he. Yeah! Hey guys, I'm Alan Denny, and I am hungry for heat. That's what I'm talking about right there. That's my boy Bishop Brad from back in the day. I actually got that video from him quite some time ago. I think it was almost two years ago, year and a half, something like that. Oh my God, that's back when he was uh, in his prime doing his hot sauce review channel and pepper reviews called uh, Brad Bishop, Bishop Brad, the Br Bishop Brad Chili Reviews, things like that. You can still look him up on YouTube. But also, since then, and I'm not sure when this was, about a year, year and a half ago, he went and started doing his uh, second channel called The Lion's Republic. It's about current events, news, and conspiracies. And he's doing a really good job at that. But he's one of the first people that inspired me to start this channel. Him among a few others. Um, so I really miss that guy right there. I did talk to him not too long ago, about five, six months ago. Just talked to him about some things through Messenger. Uh, he was doing good. Anyway, ironically, I'm reviewing a sauce today by somebody else. But I'd never used that clip before. And I wanted to use it. I really missed that energy in his reviews. If you want to see what I'm talking about, go check his channel out. Uh, so, today... I'm going to review a sauce actually made by one of our good friends on Facebook and Instagram and in the chili groups. And this guy grows peppers, makes sauce, has a crazy, crazy ass tolerance. Much higher than mine, I would imagine. Does have a YouTube channel, but doesn't even really do reviews that much. Doesn't I don't think he likes the camera that much. But he did submit a video to me one time and I put it in front of one of my reviews. This guy is Nick the Pepper Predator Barnes. So if you know him, you know just how cool he is. You know who I'm talking about. And some time ago, I'm guilty of holding on to these for a while, but I love looking at them and I don't really want to bust into them too soon. I want to keep them. He tells me that there are some people that are pretty jealous or would be pretty jealous if they knew I had these sauces, especially one of these, for instance, black magic mushroom sauce. All right. Ironically, the one I was going to do, it does have the ingredient list and this one doesn't. I'll have to ask him about this before I review it. But look at this label. So he did all this himself. He made the sauce. Made the late well his uh his wife made these labels. Beautiful. She's an artist, really brilliant artist. And then he bottles all these sauces together like this. Very, very limited, okay? So these are extremely rare. This is like worth billions. Alright, so then uh, she drew that and he named it I'm kind of radish. And it has radishes in it. Beautiful color. I love that. I mean, it, it looks like it's high quality sauce. I mean, for this guy to not even do this for a living, this is unbelievable. The third one is Serene Nectarine. I will not be reviewing these first three today. That's a good color. Because, like I said, the ingredients, and I didn't even know this until just now, I just pulled these out. The ingredient listings aren't even on these bottles. But the one that I just happened to pick earlier before I turned the camera on was this one. Because I think this best explains Mr. Nick Barnes, the pepper predator. Isn't that brilliant? I mean, could you see this marketed? It would just go crazy. I think people would just buy this up, eat it up. Look at this. Pepper Predator presents Yaudha Blood. I think that's the way you pronounce it. Yaudha, Yaudha, Yaudha. 
I don't know. Remind me, Nick. I forget. I talked to you not too long ago. You told you told me about this and how you pronounce it and what it means and everything. I forget. It's been it's been a little while. Look at the color of this. It's beautiful. Nice golden green color. It almost has yeah, like I say, a golden tint to it. You can see some seeds in there, a little bit of black pieces of stuff. Nick's a brilliant guy. He's very intelligent and. Um, I've I've only heard good things about his sauce. Uh, he's told me stuff about people saying, "Hey, could you please make more sauce?" And he's not making it, and I have probably like four of the only bottles right now available. Maybe, maybe there are somebody who's got one or two of his sauces, but he hasn't made these in a while. And I know he makes them very well, very professionally. He's very very um, up on the pH balances and all that stuff. This stuff is still good. It doesn't expire, I'm sure. Um, has a nice little side story on the bottle there, but there's the story. If you can pause it and read it, maybe blow it up somehow. Nice skull at the bottom. He did a great job on this. Uh, the ingredients are mixed green super hots, green cayenne peppers, tomatillos, Granny Smith apples, pears. Avocados, onions, ponzu vinegar, white distilled vinegar, garlic, cilantro, wasabi powder, lime juice, and something called calamansia extract. I hope I pronounced that right. This sounds like it's going to be freaking amazing. And I know my boy, Nick Pepper Predator Barnes. When he puts mixed green super hots in something, I guarantee he puts a lot of super hots in it and it's stinking hot. So I bet this is gonna be really hot. Screaming hot, but I'm so excited to try it. Oh my god. Alright, here we go. Breaking this seal. Now the Iwuts of Blood by Nick, the Pepper Predator Barnes. Thank you, Nick. Thank you so much, brother, for sending me this. This is one of the best gifts I could ever receive. Oh, the smell is amazing. It's like magic in the bottle. Like a genie that looks like that's going to come out when I pour it on the spoon. Who has freed me from my cage and what I thought to be my eternal slumber? All right. Come on. Ooh. Oh, nice velvety texture. Nice green color. Again, it smells amazing. Wow. Oh, crap. That is full of flavor and heat. Oh, at the same time, and I would expect no less coming from Nick Barnes. Woo! Mmm. Now, it said it had green cayenne peppers. But that's really mild compared to the heat I just got in my mouth from that. I mean, who knows what is in here. Green Slimers. Oh, green ghost peppers. Green scorpions. Um, mustard. Mustard scorpions. Mmm. Really good flavor. I can taste all the ingredients that are in there. And the burn is pretty amazing. It is hitting my whole mouth on the inside, back of my throat, roof of my mouth, my cheeks, my tongue. Mm, look at those guys. I'm just, I'm just so, I'm kind of scared to eat all this stuff, you know? I want it to last forever. <laughs> I want the bottle to just refill itself every time I get some out, you know? Did you put a spell on my bottles, Nick? Maybe that'll happen. Mmm. Dude, that is brilliant sauce. I get some of that, uh, apple flavor as well. Oh, and some of the other ingredients, the cilantro and stuff in there. The onions, the garlic, yeah, cilantro, wasabi powder. Wow, that, that's just the perfect melody of all that kind of stuff you can put in this kind of sauce. 
brother, this is a home run. This is a winner. I am so blessed that you sent me this, and I really, really appreciate it. Again, this is from Nick Pepper Predator Barnes. Nick Barnes, if you want to look him up on Facebook, send him a message. Say, hey, man, you going to make any more sauces? Please, I'm interested, because I saw a review by Alan Denny on Hungry for Heat, and you made my mouth water. And this sauce makes my mouth water. I cannot wait to try the other three. Guys, stay tuned for that. Again, it's um, black, black magic mushroom sauce, serene nectarine, and I'm kind of radish by Nick Barnes, Nick Pepper Predator Barnes. I'm Alan Denny. I'm hungry for heat. Thanks for watching, guys, and always remember to stay hungry for heat. Hungry for heat.